Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're interested in seeing what I made for this week, then just keep on watching. I purchased these three glass vases from the Dollar Tree and the first thing I'm going to do is clean them off. Then I'm going to use my blue painter's tape to make vertical lines around all my glass vases. Next, I'm gonna cut the blue painter's tape around the bottom part of my vase, and then I'm gonna also remove the sticker. Now I'm outside and I will be using my silver metallic spray paint to cover all three of my vases. I forgot to cover the inside of my vases when I had flipped my vases over to spray paint the top. That's why they look a little cloudy, but I will be using nail polish remover to clean the inside of my vases. My vases look so much better now, but as you guys can see, there is some leakage. So I'm going to use that same nail polish remover and also my foam brush to clean that up. It was a little challenging for me to use the foam brush alone since I didn't want to mess up the outside spray paint. So that's why you guys see me using my thumbnail to scrape off the leakage, which it was actually better for me to use my thumbnail instead. I decided to make a holder for my vases, which I already laid out my tumbling tower wood game blocks. And now you guys see me just gluing them all together with my wood glue. I left a little space here because the blocks wasn't going to fit all together properly so I had to improvise on this part and now you guys see me just putting the blocks around the perimeter of my base holder. Now I'm outside again and this is what my base holder is looking like. It's not completely dry yet, but that's okay. And I'm using that same silver metallic spray paint to cover my whole base holder. Next, I'm going to take these three Dollar Tree mirrors and remove all the black tabs from the back. For the final step, I'm going to take my crystal clear drawer knobs, glue them to the center of each of my mirrors. Then I'm going to remove any excess glue strings. And here's the finished look. I think project number one turned out pretty good. 
These bases can be used with or without the facial and the dental products, but tell me what you guys think down in the description box. Project number two, I'm using those same glass vases and also these LED flower lights. These flower lights do not have a remote to them, so that's why I'm turning them on now. And I will also be using these acrylic gems and also these pink gems that I purchased from Amazon. As I stated before, these LED lights do not have a remote to them, so that's why I turned the lights on. And also how I am doing the project, it wouldn't have made any sense for me to use glue, so that's why I'm not using any glue. So here, all you guys see me doing is placing a mirror on top of the glass vase and flipping them over. I'm just going to place this pink glass trinket tray on top of the vases and here's the finished look. I just love what I created today. These are super cute and can be made with or without glue and if you're going to recreate these, I suggest using a LED light with a remote. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think. Please like, comment, share and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can be notified when I upload a new video.